Tesla cam. I hope you're satisfied. Jason was driving his Model 3 in San Jose, California, when a Model S in front of him was struck by an SUV. The driver of the SUV wasn't paying attention and lost control trying to avoid the cars that had slowed down to exit the highway. It hit the side of the Model S, which sent it spinning 180 degrees, narrowly missing the barrier. The Model S driver was shaken up, but he was okay. When Jason checked on him, the guy said, When the car spun, I thought it was all over. The SUV driver ended up across the highway, so they couldn't talk to him, but he was walking around and appeared to be okay. The police were quick to arrive at the scene, and Jason gave them and the fellow Tesla owner copies of his Tesla cam footage. It was Jesse's birthday, and he'd packed his family in the car, and they were heading to dinner in Las Vegas, Nevada. The truck in front of him swerved a little bit, but it kept going after the light had turned red. It was a good five seconds later that he entered the intersection. The truck T-boned an SUV right in front of a police cruiser. Jesse immediately pulled over and ran to check on the truck driver who'd caused the accident. The guy must have been in shock because Jesse had to ask him three times if he was okay. The guy finally said his chest hurt a little and then he told Jesse that he knew he'd had a green light. Jesse didn't say anything to him about that and went to check on the other person. All her airbags had deployed and the vehicle was so badly damaged that she couldn't get out. The first responders ended up ripping the door open and taking her to the hospital. The police car seen in the video had stopped up ahead. After making sure everyone was okay, Jesse ran to tell him he'd captured the accident on video. The officer thanked him and told him he should wait for another group of police officers that was on their way. This was because he already had a person in custody in the back of his car that he still needed to take to the police station. When the other officers showed up and saw the video, they thanked Jesse because the footage proved the truck driver was 100% at fault. This meant that the lady in the other vehicle would be covered and taken care of. Asura was sitting in the back seat of his Model Y while letting his father Igor test drive it. That's when an old Soviet car, a Lada Vaz 21063, lost control and crashed into them. The impact was in the back, right where Asura was sitting. The driver who hit them was a 78-year-old man who said the car just slipped out from under him, probably due to the fact that he was driving on nearly bald tires. They called the police who arrived pretty quickly. They also filed an insurance claim on the scene. Since they don't have official Tesla service centers in Ukraine, Asura says they are forced to buy parts themselves. They placed an order for the parts and the bill came to 15,000 US dollars. The final price will definitely be much higher than that if they find any more damaged parts, but they'll have to wait for months for parts to be delivered before they can begin repairs. Here's another video from Ukraine. This submitter was commuting in the usual heavy evening traffic when he noticed one clever driver trying to cut in front of everyone. The driver proceeded to cut off a semi without realizing that those guys have pretty big blind spots in all directions. Unfortunately, Tesla Cam doesn't record audio, but the submitter says he could hear the truck driver screaming through his window about how unhappy he was with the situation. Lesson learned for all of us, don't be that guy. Nico was driving his Model 3 behind a semi-truck in Italy. Just as he was about to pass it, a Fiat blasted past them. As the Fiat accelerated, he rolled so much coal that Nico says the road disappeared for a second. Saren had just picked up his 2021 Model S Long Range, and he was picking up a friend in Lawrenceville, Georgia. The refreshed Model S Long Range does 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. The Tesla cam doesn't record the vehicle's speed, but it looks like Saren might have tested that acceleration as he pulled out onto the road. We've also got to say that it's really nice that all new Teslas have an improved frame rate on their Tesla cams. This really gives us some smooth video and a better sense of the vehicle's speed. As Saren was driving along, a car pulled out directly in front of him. Luckily, he managed to squeeze past it without getting in an accident. Phew, that was a close one. Jamie was driving his Model 3 in Melbourne, Florida when he noticed a Mustang from the oncoming lane veering weirdly onto the median. 
After coming to a complete stop, Jamie considered reversing or making some other evasive maneuver, but the Mustang finally came to rest against a sign. Jamie thinks it got trapped by the narrow part of the median getting between the wheels. Pat heard a screeching sound to his left. When he looked over, he saw a red car with its tires locked up. The driver of the red car then proceeded to cut right between Pat and the slow traffic in front of him, only to cut across a major intersection and right through to opposing traffic. He barely escaped an accident and quickly disappeared. At first, Pat and his wife thought he'd lost control of his car, but a few seconds after the red car had disappeared, a police car appeared behind them. They then understood that a police chase was underway. Since the police were already hot on the suspect's trail, Pat figured he didn't need to send them his Tesla cam footage. Kurt in Wichita, Kansas was getting ready for bed when he noticed a sentry mode flash through his window. When he went outside, he checked the video in the car. It showed a group of guys walking down the sidewalk in front of his house, apparently checking cars for easy targets. One peeled off from the group and walked down his driveway to check out the Model 3. As he grabbed the locked charging cable, he was startled by the sentry mode flash. He got scared off for good when the security lights came on after he touched the Model 3's door handle. Police arrived quickly and watched the video in Kurt's house. They took pictures with the phone and said they'd drive around the neighborhood and do some checking. The police didn't find the guys, and since no damage was done, there was no follow-up and the case was closed. Kurt posted the video in his local Facebook group for neighborhood awareness. Lots of people were impressed with the quality of the sentry mode video, but some didn't realize the footage was from a car and suggested he aim his cameras differently. Dave was driving to work when a Honda Accord was in the exit lane. A water truck also wanted to exit, but the driver didn't check their mirrors and pit maneuvered the Accord, pushing it for a while. Fortunately, the two occupants of the Accord looked like they were physically fine. Emma was driving home from some shopping with her daughter in the front seat. When they approached a red light, they saw a Model Y that Emma estimates was going around 50 miles per hour. The Model Y driver overtook some cars using the turn lane, almost causing a head-on collision. This really scared Emma and her daughter. Matt was driving using the full self-driving beta when a deer ran across the street, barely missing his car by a few inches. The deer ran across so fast, Matt hadn't even realized what it was until he watched the Tesla cam footage at home. Aaron was over the moon. He'd just taken delivery of his Model Y in the Netherlands. Only two days after taking delivery, he had to make a quick trip to Canada and his wife got to take the Tesla to work. When Aaron got off the plane in Canada, he turned on his phone and got a message from his daughter. It said, Dad, we just had a wham bam Tesla cam moment. Aaron immediately felt a shiver down his spine. Immediately he called to make sure they were okay. But it turned out it wasn't them who'd been in an accident, they'd only witnessed one. They made sure the scooter driver was okay, and luckily, the guy was shaken up, but not hurt. I bet the person most shocked in this story was Aaron after he got that message from his daughter. What is this? An Ewok sighting? Don is part of the 70th Explorer's Garrison, a Star Wars costume group from the area of Kansas and Missouri. Their mission is to help their local communities through fundraising, charity, and promotional events. They were at Deaf Inc. for a drive through event benefiting families with hearing impairments. One of their members, Chris, came dressed in his Ewok costume and walked right past Don's car. Don says they all had a laugh on their Facebook page when he posted this video. Philip was northbound on I-15 when he saw a biker doing some crazy stunting in the carpool lane. He thought it was cool, but it was also gut-wrenching to think of any accident that might have happened. Before leaving one morning to go to a popular car show in Atlanta, Georgia, Dee decided to check his sentry mode alerts from the night before. That's when he saw that Tesla Cam had captured this hilarious little gem. A random person wanted to relieve himself behind the Tesla, but when the Tesla lasers warned him he was being recorded, he gave it a thumbs up and took off. 
In episode 105, we told you that only 18% of those who watch our videos are subscribers, and that we would donate one US dollar to Team C's for each new subscriber up to $1,000, which translates into 1,000 pounds of trash being taken out of the ocean. So how did it go? Well, that video earned us almost 9,000 new subscribers. And last week, Mr. Beast and Mark Rober had a live stream where you could mega slap Mr. Beast if you donated 1,000 US dollars. Show you until someone actually does it. If someone donates $1,000, we have a giant mega hand hanging from the ceiling that's gonna come down and knock us off our feet. Basically, the mega slap. So that's what we did. 1,000 pounds of trash taken out of the ocean and well, one big slap on Mr. Beast. Oh, God, Oh, God. <laughs> now, I call that a win-win. I just want to save the ocean. Go donate. Thank you, everybody. Now, a whopping 22% of our viewers are subscribers. As always, we hope you're satisfied. <laughs> That's why I was always laying down during Squid Game. The more. <laughs> These are oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Cybertruck? My friends, I'll drive diesel. I must make amends